Hi Scorpio and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of April 9th through April 15th, 2018. All decks I'm using are listed in the description below and I just want to give a reminder that this is a general tarot reading so it may or may not resonate with everybody, okay? So Scorpio, let's see which house is highlighted for you this week. Mm, we got the first house, what people see and the impression you give. So this week you are very focused on yourself somehow, some way. Um, what other people are thinking of you or the impression that you give or maybe you're even um, thinking of some sort of self-improvement. But this first house is all about you, okay? So huge focus on self this week. Let's see why that is. We're going to pull a card to see it what goes in Scorpio's favor this week and what may challenge Scorpio this week. I think Scorpio's thinking about changes they may want to make within themselves, within their life, um, even inside their home this week. You might find yourself spring cleaning and um, rearranging. All right, so what goes in your favor this week a long journey brings rewards so there's a couple different things with this um, the stars in this uh, particular deck this could definitely mean there's a reconnection of some kind but that also means there could be a disconnection of some kind but this being in your favor whether it's a reconnection or a disconnection it's what you want. It, it, it's what you've been hoping for, okay? Also, some of you, this is talking about you're going on vacation this week and it's going to be really fun and you're going to have a good time, which would pair very nicely with that first house, okay? Some of you have been um, working for quite some time on self-improvement and you really see um, the rewards of that this week, okay? So this is a really positive card for Scorpio, Now, what may challenge you is the dragon, strength and wisdom. So this is most likely a person. And what it, it and if it's a person, it's somebody that you do need to be wary of. It, it's somebody that probably doesn't have the best intentions for you. Um, but also this could represent just a challenge that you're having that just seems a bit difficult this week. Um, so, you know, apply that how it fits. If you have somebody that's just being really negative and horrible and mean to you this week, it, it might be best that you just kind of steer clear of them and their energy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Also, those of you who are dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this could say that this week they're just... Um, their energy might be on high, so their temper might be a bit more explosive. You know, dragons breathe fire, right? So if you have an air sign, or an air sign, if you have a fire sign in your life, you might get burned this week um, if you really provoked them or you get into deep confrontation with them. This week, it might just be best to avoid those kind of confrontations and then discuss things next week, okay? So let's pull a couple tarot cards on that to get some more information for Scorpio. And you know, the first house is ruled by Aries. So those of you dealing with an Aries, that could definitely be the case. Um, you guys could not see eye to eye on everything this week. Um, especially like if you, there's, I don't know, things you're trying to change about yourself. Okay. So, what we have here is, um, you know, these flew out this way, so we can really look at this either way. This, I feel, for the stars, this is more this way, okay? This is just like ultimate, um, 
you know, a long journey brings rewards. The 10 is a completion. We have the first house. So either you guys are on vacation this week and it's going to be just awesome and you're going to have a fabulous time or something you've really been working on for quite some time for yourself is going to pay off this week, okay? And now with this dragon, we have this uh, six of uh, pentacles here. And this could mean this is somebody that's just, you know, being very controlling and a bit oppressive. This could be your boss based on this card. It could be a coworker. It could be your romantic partner if you are involved with somebody. So with this energy, I just feel like somebody's being kind of controlling um, over you somehow, some way. Or maybe you might be feeling like you need to be a bit more controlling. Um, but for others of you, we have this that has come out as well, um, attached to this dragon. And if you have any sort of romantic um, opportunities or invitations this week, and you're feeling like, you know, you don't really trust the intention of that person, you know, trust your instincts. Because on this side, this night, he's flighty. He's you know, going to go wherever the water takes him. One moment he loves you, the next moment he loves somebody else. You know, on this side, he's he's the real deal. But on this side, you got to watch him. So for some of you, this dragon, you know, is a person that's, you know, giving you energy like that, kind of like that back and forth energy. So let's uh, pull some more cards. You're just something this week is really going to make you happy. Totally going to make you happy. All right. So we have complicated. And we have lust. <laughs> yeah. Some of you, I think there's somebody that kind of dips in and out of your life. And they're going to show up this week. And you are going to have to make the decision because I really feel like if they dip in and out, they're going to dip out again this week, okay? I don't care what they're promising you. They might be promising you the sun, moon, and stars, but they're, they're not really, okay? And with complicated here, I think it's like you already know it, but I think it's hard to say no. For others of you... Um, I don't know. I think I do. I just see romance in everybody's freaking readings this week. I swear it. Uh, yeah, I really feel like there's some Scorpios out there that have somebody that dip in and out. And um, it's just kind of the it's the same thing. But you might indulge because we have lust here. So there could be a hot hookup for some of you. Um for others of you, this might mean, like, if you're on vacation, like, there's definitely a chance uh, at some romance this week. Some of you, you know, if you're in a relationship, you might be tempted this week to be with somebody else. Or you might actually be, like, interested in somebody who's already in a relationship. Because we got complicated and lust here. But, nonetheless, you got the stars. This is a lucky week. Which means if somebody's just trying to play you, you will see it. It will be your choice if you indulge. Alright, so we have the Ace of Coins reversed. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Seven of Coins reversed. Yeah, so <clears throat> for some of you, this is definitely about, look at this card almost looks exactly like the same imagery, right? This is definitely, for some of you, um, there's a relationship that just keeps coming in and out, in and out, in and out of your life. And uh, some of you, I think you just thought this would never even resurface, and it just kind of does this week. 
Um, others of you, I feel like you are finally moving on from that crappy energy. Like you're like, you know what? That is just never going to manifest into anything else. And I'm moving on and I'm doing me. And it's just like the blessings start rolling in from there. Like once you make that decision for yourself, Scorpio, but I just, I don't know. I feel like you're abandoning some, um, project or idea for something better. You're definitely, I don't know, those of you that are going on vacation, you're going to just be very refreshed, that's for sure. So let's pull. All right. Goddess of creation. Transformation, creativity, wholeness. Yeah. Those of you who have been doing a lot of self-work, like this week, it's just bam. Like there, you are getting a big, big reward. Others of you, there is this relationship that's in and out, in and out. And I think finally this week, you're finally like, just go away and don't come back. Like, just don't. I love myself. My life is starting to pop and... I'm just, I'm not wasting my time on you. You're always going to be complicated. This is just sexual for you. And for me, it's like my whole heart and soul has been in this. And you're just a waste of my time. All you want to do is emotionally control me and manipulate me. And I'm done with that. Like, I'm over it. You're just... I feel your energy is incredibly strong this week, Scorpio, and you are getting rid of the crap that, you know, the relationships, it could even be friendships, just whatever is bringing you down, you're ready to shed it this week because there's this elevation of energy for you, like the completion of something, and now here's this brand new beginning. So, you know what, it, it, the stars are are on Scorpio's side this week, no matter what. Um, just remember, if they dip in and out and they're back this week, they're going to do the same thing. It's really up to you, but I see you making the choice to move on because you are recognizing that it's just never going to physically manifest and you're, you're just like, I'm not wasting my time on you anymore. So, Scorpio, um, that is... The advice I have for you guys for this week. Um, I hope that this has brought you some guidance and some clarity. And uh, yeah, you'll have to let me know what this is. It's beautiful. I really feel like a lot of you, you're going on vacation. And I think you're going to have a hookup, some of you. Especially if you're going to Las Vegas. Um, that's something else. If you're going to Las Vegas, Scorpio... You know, based on this, um, gamble, have fun, but don't don't break the bank, okay? Like, don't break the bank. Just if if you're losing, then maybe you should just kind of stop um, gambling and try the next day and see if your luck is better that day, okay? Because there's definitely some fertility energy here, but also with the reversed coins, you know, that could go either way. So. If something's not working, you know, cut your losses and move on and put your energy somewhere else. And, and if that's working, then go full force, okay? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I am wishing you all a very beautiful and blessed week. Take care.